Hey guys, what's happening? This is Forgo Nation, and today I thought we'd talk a little bit about Mr. Fantastic. Now I changed the build a little bit from the last video, you guys. Uh, he still has 25,000 physical attack. He has 128 attack speed, 31 critical rate, 168 critical damage. Max ignore defense and max skill cooldown. All of his gears are at 20. He has all 5 star physical attack urus in his slots. All of his skills are at level 6. His ice weight is Power Ranger Hulk. And this is what I changed. He did have a 200% proc before, but I decided to change it. I wanted to give this guy a little bit more ignore dodge, and this was the best obelisk I had for that. Because I want to try to do a Corvus clear with him. Uh, as you guys can see, it's got 39% ignore dodge. And on... Which one is it? His 4? Or his 5? Yeah. And on his 5, he has another 40% dodge. So he's going to get 80%, so I only need one ignore dodge striker, and I'll have 100%. No big deal. So guys, a lot of people are wondering if Mr. Fantastic's worth it or not. Well, here's how I feel about it. Every, a lot of, I think a lot of people are like comparing this guy to previous Epic Quest characters. And the thing is, if you're going to compare an Epic Quest character to a past Epic Quest character, you need to look at how the character, the Epic Quest characters before, how they impacted the game. You know, were they metas when they came in the game? How strong were they were in, were they when they came in the game? That's what you need to compare. You know, how strong is Mr. Fantastic coming into this game as a native tier two, guys? Because remember. Wolverine's native tier 2, Doctor Strange's tier 2, and Deadpool. We're going to compare him to Deadpool as a tier 2 also, all right? We're not going to we're not going to look at this tier 3 stuff. Not yet anyways. So first, let's take a look at the requirements for the Fantastic 4 Epic Quest. So, this is a list of requirements that you have to have for the Epic Quest for the Fantastic 4 Epic Quest. You know, you gotta have crystal five star, thing five star, blah, blah, blah. We don't need to go into all that. You gotta have eight rank three, bam. You gotta have five rank four, bam. You gotta have three rank five, bam. And three rank six, bam. That's a lot of gold, you guys. That's a lot of gold. And bam. You gotta have 1,400 Norn Stones of Chaos, 1,000 Macron Shards. 2,000 Phoenix Feathers and 2,000 Macron Crystals. That's a lot, you guys. This is an expensive update. Now, on the right side there, you see the 200 Macron Crystals, 200 Phoenix Feathers, 200 Macron Shards. You get those back playing it, but still, that's a tremendous amount. This is the most expensive Epic Quest so far up to date. So, let's compare these Epic Quest characters as they came in the game, you know, at the time that they came in the game. How relevant were they when they came in the game? And the first one was this guy right here. Good old Doctor Strange. Now, any of you guys that's been playing this game for a long time, you know what this dude was like when he came out. I mean, he's over, what, two and a half years old now? This guy was a freaking PvP and PvE god. This guy was Top, 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 top meta. He was unbelievably powerful. I mean, we were all jumping to try to get this guy. He's just freaking nuts. Now, let's take a look at the next one. Good old Wolverine. And I hate this look uni, by the way. But anyways, Wolverine. Wolverine came in this game little over a year and a half ago I guess and when he came in the game again PvP PvE God guy was practically unkillable in PvP he was I mean this guy was a threat he was an ABX meta he was a world boss killer I mean Wolvie was I mean, he's the man he was the man I mean, we were all jumping like crazy to get this guy it's freaking awesome and now, for my man, Wade Wilson, a.k.a. Deadpool. We all know how Deadpool is. 
Deadpool is by far one of the best characters in the game. He's uh, even at tier two. This dude is pretty pretty awesome. Even at tier two, he can do stage fifty Corvus alone by himself. He doesn't even need to be tier three to pull that off. This dude's strong, and he's an amazing striker. He's amazing in PvP. He's amazing in PvE. The guy's a freaking god. He's unreal. So, so far we have three characters. The moment they came in the game, they were all gods in both PvE and PvP. Now, Mr. Fantastic. Now, guys, I don't want to crap all over Mr. Fantastic. I don't want to crap on this guy. I think he's a wonderful character. I love him from the comics. But in this game, if you're going to compare this guy to them other Epic Quest characters as they were when they came in the game, this guy isn't very good at all. I mean, he's actually a kind of a pile of crap compared to the rest of them, you guys. I mean, I'm at Tier 3, yeah, Tier 3, he shines. He's a lot better. But he still isn't going to be the... He's still not like Deadpool was when he came in the game or even how Deadpool is right now he still isn't like what Wolverine was when he came in the game he still isn't like what Doctor Strange was when he came in the game you know we have power creep in the game and because of that power creep we expect our characters to be stronger especially native tier twos that come in this game especially an epic quest character okay so I'm not trying to rant on the guy it's just that's the way it should be. He should be stronger at tier 2. And honestly, I think if he was, people would be more motivated to try to tier 3 him instead of being so hesitant. So guys, we're going to go ahead and take old boy into some Corvus Clave and some World Boss Ultimate Thanos. And let's see how he does. Let's rock and roll. So keep that build in mind that you guys just seen on Mr. Fantastic and watch how he does. This is only stage 40, you guys. And he's got two supports with him, Shuri and Valkyrie. Which is increasing his damage, a 90% increased damage total from the both of them. That's a hell of a lot. This is stage 40. A native tier 2 epic quest character that has a freaking CTP on him. That has attack gurus on him. I mean, come on. And this is where he's at. Something else about Mr. Fantastic that kind of sucks, guys. His survivability is... It's not terrible, but it's not good. It's okay. It's... it's eh. You really got to be careful with old Mr. Fantastic when you're playing him. If you notice, I kind of just hit the 4 and the 5, and then sometimes I'll hit the 2, and then I hit the 3 to get the hell out of the way. Get, the, get away from uh, Corvus. Because you got to be careful of that bleed. But this, I was really surprised, you know, I would have thought, you know, him having, I mean, I know he's a combat, and combats have a kind of a disadvantage in this stage, but still, come on, man. Stage 40, and I even have strikers, I'm even running with my heavy strikers. So what's that tell you guys? I mean, it just, it doesn't jive, and I actually have decent valor, I mean, my valor isn't super low. He's just, I mean, right now we're making okay time, decent time. Usually if you can finish the first phase in two minutes, you're doing good. So we're doing good. But remember, this is just stage 40. <laughs> so it's not like, it's not like it's super impressive, to be honest. I mean, it's kind of, it's a letdown. It's really disappointing, to be honest. I'm really bummed out by it. That's one of the reasons I just, I mean, his potential's ready. I could get him up there and get his tier 3 going but I'm kind of like you know for me it's like I already have Captain America at tier 3 Captain America can already do very well in ABX for me and he already does really well in world boss so why would I want to tier 3 this guy I mean I like Mr. Fantastic but he's not like one of my beloved characters if you guys if he's a beloved character for you and you love the crap out of him I always say this guys if you love them build them you're not going to... I mean, he's a good Tier 3. He's a strong Tier 3. But at Tier 2, he's lackluster. He just doesn't have it. I mean, this is... 
This is not very impressive, guys. I mean, he's got a 65% all attack lead, and I'm running with two supports, <laughs> you know, and we're just doing stage 40. I mean, Angel, without his uni, can easily do this. And that's not a knock on Angel. Angel's awesome. But, I mean, he can do this. And you're telling me a native tier 2 epic quest character? This is not easy for him? What the hell? Seems a little wacky to me. I mean, I don't know what you guys think. It seems a little... Doesn't seem right. I mean, he's not doing bad. He's doing good. I mean, we'll definitely finish this. But stage 40, and just to give you guys an idea, I, I tried stage 41 with this dude. And he couldn't get it done. He could not get it done. I mean, he could maybe if I had a perfect run, but he just couldn't get it done. It was I was I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I was just blown away. <laughs> I mean, like what? Like seriously? Whoa! I mean, that's crazy, you guys. That is crazy. And I'm laying the proc quite often. I mean, it's just. I don't know, he's not near as strong as he should be, not in my opinion. The more I play him, the more disappointed I get, to be honest. Well, there, my skill got cancelled, that sucks. That's alright, we'll get old Pokey. Boom, okay, so now let's take him against uh, Thanos. We're going to be running with the same team that we had with uh, Corvus. Uh, this is stage 10, guys, and we're not going to use any strikers. We're going to see if he can clear this baby. See if he can take down the old purple monkey. Now against Thanos, I, I gotta give him a little credit. He's not really too bad to play against Thanos because, you know, you start with the four and the five and they're both iframes, so you're pretty safe. Plus the five has a five second immunity to it, which is nice. I, it's kind of weird that you have a immunity on an iframe. I mean, I guess they have that in case of like PVP. Uh, maybe he, if he was using his 5 and say Nova was using his 2, which ignores iframe, like it, it ignores the targeting. It'll, like if you're in an iframe, Nova will, if he uses that 2, he'll shoot you while you're in iframe. But if, like in Mr. Fantastic's, Fantastic's case, uh, if he uses his 5, he's got that immunity up. So if Nova uses his 2 while Mr. Fantastic uses his 5, Mr. Fantastic won't take any damage. So I can, I can see why they did that, but I'm not really sure if he prioritizes that 5 in PvP. I don't really know. So that's something to keep in mind. But anyways, against Thanos, he's he's not too bad to play because, you know, I just do the five, or 4 and the 5 and then the 2. And then I, used to, I save the 3 for danger mode. I save that 3 in case I need to get the hell out of the way from Thanos from whatever he's doing. Whether it's him going in a portal, bringing the rain, or whether it's him jumping at me, getting ready to do a punch at me or something, I save it. Just in case. Now there, I got smacked. Whoa, got time for us in there. Whoa, whoa. But he's not really that bad against it. But, you know, something about this, guys, is... I mean, I don't even know if he's going to clear. I mean, right now it doesn't look... It looks like he will. I, I mean, it looks like he will. We'll see, though. I don't know. I mean, he barely cleared... I mean, he barely cleared... Well, he didn't barely. I mean, he cleared stage 40, but he couldn't even clear stage 41. And I know there's been other accounts, other YouTubers that he's cleared, you know, 43, maybe 45 at Tier 2 Corvus. But, guys... They got a lot more freaking uh, Valor than me, and that's why they were able to do that. Okay, my Valor is it's decent, but it's not as high as some other people, players out there. So that's also something else to keep in mind. But he's just, I don't know, guys. I, I really do find him a, see right there, that's nice. I mean, I, I do have fun playing him, but I just don't know. I mean, Mr. Fantastic's in a place where for me anyways, why would I tier 3 this guy? I mean, what can he do that my other characters can't? And the thing is, nothing. Yes, he'll be a little easier against Proxima, 
he'll be a little bit easier, you know, he'll be easier getting that two million on ABX day. But that's it. You know, I can I can already do those things with Cats in America. So why would I want to spend all those resources trying to get him to tier three? Tier threes, guys, like I told you this before about me. I'm a conservative player. I just tier threes are super expensive and I will only tier three them if I feel they're relevant if they're really gonna make a difference for me in the game or that I just really love them mr. fantastic I like him a lot I think he's a really cool character especially in the comics but I don't love him I, I, I like him but I don't love him I mean I'm not gonna invest a ton of crap in this guy just because I think he's a great character there are other characters that I think a whole lot more of that I would do a whole lot more for. You know, if the Hulk got a tier 3, even if he sucked, I'd still tier 3 him because he's my favorite character of all time. <laughs> but I mean, you know, I'm fantastic. I mean, honestly, guys, right now, he looks like he's getting behind. I don't think he's going to get it done. I mean, he might, but it's not looking too good. And for a native tier 2 epic quest character to not do stage 10 with no strikers and having two supports, I don't know guys, I mean, you know, tell me what you think, you know, do you think this is quality? Do you think that he's worth that uh, tier 3? You know, let me know, I mean, because personally, I don't think he's worth it, but that's also because of the characters that I already have, what I'm capable of doing already in the game with the characters that I have. I just don't think he's worth it, but maybe for you he is. We're not gonna get this done. There ain't no way. Crap. Okay, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.